Yeah. We had our own kind of adult version of the Ninja Turtles party where we... Uh, <laughs> these drinks you see before us, which are now getting that quite nice kind of purple, orange, red and blue sort of film across the top. Mm. And the Mutagen, we all did that for a previous party which we didn't shoot. So the first thing you're going to need is some bottom shelf vodka. I've been using Ruskov vodka, I've never heard of that. I don't think anyone else has either. Very authentic. <laughs> This is actually the first time you've seen uh, my compatriot Rob, who Hi. I've known since the 80s. That's right, we don't want to use up all our bottom shelf vodka. <laughs> this is all I have left. <laughs> in, in life, this is all you have left in life. I, I used all my money to pay for Ben as a cameraman. <laughs> and this is all the first time you'll see my good friend Ben. Anytime you see anything awesome on Bit Seizure, it's him. The animated <laughs> sequence, it's him. <laughs> yeah, he's a cameraman, he's the, uh, the, the genius behind the animated sequence, um, uh, what else do you do? Basically everything. Right, okay, so so far this is a, a pretty familiar and popular drink. Yes. Uh, vodka and orange juice. Um, the, uh, screwdriver, I think the uh, barman's name. Right. International barman's, it's like a real internationally recognised cocktail. This blue stuff. Okay. Blue Caruso. Caruso. Car Caruso. Caracau. Caracau. That's it. The Australian accent comes to the rescue once again. <laughs> um, so I guess the idea behind this little uh, bonus feature was for us to, uh, to have a chat about some of the, the memories we had of the Ninja Turtles because it was such a, uh, a dominant um, theme in our childhood. So I'm going to use a stirrer, which is uh, out of space Raphael, the only use he's ever come in. <laughs> we'll kind of put it in there. Hello. Give it a little stir. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit go. of green coloration. Fantastic. And it depends how much you put in, like you can make it light green, dark green, and all the turtles on the figurines are actually like a um, a bit of a, a different colour as well. So to make these ice cubes, all you need to do is just put water in them, put a drop of food colouring in there, mm -hmm. and mix it around. Of course you didn't know who those Italian painters were yet, you just knew about <laughs> the characters. I think I learned about those painters through the show actually. I think quite a few people did. Yeah. And the way it works is if you actually let this melt, because the rest of the drink is so heavy, mm -hmm. um, the colouring kind of sits on the top, like a little band, and that's how you get your turtles effect. Okay, actually now that the uh, it's sitting in with the green, you can actually see the purple colour a lot better. Mm. Um, so, you know, not too bad. I think these, are, these look pretty great, actually. And uh, later on I was introduced to the Mirage comics, which is where all the stuff started in the first place. Now you always need to make four, as I said. Yeah, absolutely. Any, any less is blasphemy. So. <laughs> Do you want to have a drink? Yeah, All Rob, right. take your favourite turtle. Well, my favourite's always been Donatello, because he's the thinking man's turtle. <laughs> Philosophical turtle. <laughs> my name, uh, my my turtle is Leonardo. I guess he's the leader, I suppose. Absolutely. So, Kawabunga! Mm. Not bad at all. That's pretty good. Mm. Fantastic. I think the things I liked the most out of all of it was the first film that Steve Barron did, the first live action one, because it got the best balance of the things that were fun about the comic and the best things that were fun about the cartoon series. Mm, yeah. Um, a friend and I, who were both fans who were old enough to know better, went to the film, the CGI one, in 2007. Mm, yeah. And, you know, it's kind of expected it's going to be a film with a lot of kids in the audience. And the entire audience was decked out with people in their late 20s and early 30s. <laughs> no kids in the audience at all. They were all people like us who'd grown up with this stuff and mm. you know, were having a great time laughing in all the appropriate places and just enjoying <laughs> character references. So I think I think that was my single favorite Turtles memory. Yeah. I guess that, that was a good movie powerful. too for memory, wasn't I it? I enjoyed it. I thought mm. they really got it right. Yeah, I love Leonardo. He's the leader. This is the first... Oh, this is the sad story. Yeah, the yeah. sad story. This is... Uh... But what happened was, I was given a Leonardo, and I love Leonardo. And then back then I used to go to an after-school camp. And so I was playing with my, my little turtle guy, and then I, I went to put him back in my bag, and I noticed that my school bag had been moved. Mm. I thought, that's odd. But, you know, it's okay. Um, I put the turtle back in the bag, mm -hmm. and I thought, oh, it must have been one of the you know, after-school care leaders had put it in there or something like that. You know, moved it. So I put my turtle back in the bag and then didn't think anything else of it. I just got my bag, went home, checked in my bag. Oh, I couldn't, I couldn't find my turtle. Mm -hmm. oh, and, boy. yeah, it, someone had moved my bag originally because they were looking through it to find my awesome turtle figurine. And I didn't get another Turtles figurine until Christmas, the, the next Christmas afterwards, from my grandmother, who got me Michelangelo. Now, you might kind of be able to see that he's kind of painted half blue. <laughs> That's because I love Leonardo so much that I actually tried to paint 
his bandana, oh, gosh. knee pads and wrist pads <laughs> all blue. I guess just quickly I'll, I'll mention when I was, I think I was about 9 or 10 years old, I had a uh, Ninja Turtles themed birthday party. And um, this was the day when um, there was so much Ninja Turtles stuff available at the supermarket that you could literally have an entire party uh, with everything Ninja Turtles. Uh, there was Ninja Turtles Cordial, there was Ninja Turtles Soft Drink, Ninja Turtles, cordial. Ninja Turtles Pizza, <laughs> Uh, there was Ninja Turtles uh, napkins and, and, and paper plates and, uh, and, and everything Ninja Turtles. Um, sweets and, and, and everything. It was, it was actually a little bit pathetic. Okay, for our next cocktail, I'm actually going to show you a very potent shot, mm. which I like to call Mutagen. Okay. <laughs> you also had a lot of the board games as well. I had the board game, yeah. I had the, the really bad board game. Alright, the first ingredient is white rum. It was a really bad board game. Like it was quite boring to play. I use white rum because it it's got a less sharp taste mm, than, okay. uh, than dark rum, and I need kind of a clear spirit for this to get the the correct effect. There we go. This is a great painting by Michael Dooney, who was one of the best artists Mirage Comics ever had. Mirage was a very small independent company, and they only had a handful of artists who they used over and over again. And Michael Dooney was one of the best. Who's Thanks for doing great cover art. Bottom, Finest bottom shelf vodka? Pretty fine. <laughs> it's actually not that bad for what I paid for it, but it's um, it's still not great. <laughs> so we'll use a, a whole shot of that, because, you know, we really need to get rid of this. <laughs> this one here uh, is actually called Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles, the yeah. arcade game. The, ter the idea was, according to the British census, that ninja was too violent a word. As a kid, I didn't know what a ninja was. I didn't even know what a mutant was as a kid. So I, I don't know how it could have really made me more violent from yeah. watching <laughs> We're actually going to have some creme de meth, or meth verte, or something like that. They all have different names, but it's basically peppermint flavoured schnapps. Okay. Alright, so I'll put half a shot in here. Now, the reason I use half a shot is because I don't want it to overpower everything else. Right. Because it's peppermint flavoured. You know. Yeah, it's a pretty potent uh, flavour there. So, uh... so it'll make things cloudy, but not overpower everything else. Mm. We weren't even allowed to watch the movies, but my after school care a different part the, the Taylor Primary after school care actually yep. got the movies and then I watched them and I thought that was awesome and my parents <laughs> were angry that I managed to see without their permission. Meet our old friend, Absinthe. Oh gosh. <laughs> um, I he think had I, all the toys, uh, like most of them. Yeah, including all the really crappy ones like the Donatello that swims and the, um, that was the one that I used to take to the bathtub a lot and it usually would just sort of plummet. It just kind of sink with the sort of sad bubbles coming up. Mm. So I'm actually going to put a whole shot in this. Oh boy. My dad came home with the, um, actually, uh, uh, the PC game version of that, uh, the Konami, uh, uh, Ninja Turtles game, this one here. Now, this stuff is actually very expensive because it's so potent and powerful, so remember kids, ask your parents before you use absinthe. Hey! But, uh, <laughs> no underage drinking is endorsed by Bitsnisha. My dad only had a, um, like a, a Hercules adapter on the computer, so it was like a monochrome, like, black and yellow screen, and, uh, and the computer couldn't really keep up with what the game was trying to do. It was kind of a miracle that it even worked at all. We'll put that in there. Mm. And as you can see, it's greenish, but not overpoweringly green. It's kind of still transparent. Mm -hmm. So we'll use our uh, TCRI, which is a, a reference to the original mutagen in the Mirage comics. Right, okay. To stir that up. It's pretty clear. Now, last ingredient is actually... Ah, light up ice cube. You can get these cool. off the internet or Japan, which is where I got mine. Mm -hmm. Put that in there, and you've got that nice kind of glowing radioactive mutagen effect. Fantastic. Now I've put pop rocks, which is that crackling sound you might be hearing, around the edge of these two shot glasses here. So if you think this is a really bad game, uh, try playing this game on an old Hercules adapter PC and uh, you'll relish <laughs> the enjoyment that you can get out of the NES version. Here we go. And that really gives it that kind of uh, dangerous, uh, you know, substance look with the, <laughs> the <laughs> syringe there, yeah. yeah. But uh, I remember you still got really far in that game, despite I... the fact there was a second delay between when you hit something and when the total did his, like, half-assed <laughs> move. Ooh. If I drink this, I'm not going to turn into some kind of rat or turtle or something, am I? What was the last person you had contact with? <laughs> it's me! You're going to turn into a mutant version of me. Oh dear. This Ninja Turtles craze kind of caused all the paranoia amongst, yeah. uh, uh, People were hiding in like drains and stuff like that. <laughs> People wanted to go down into the stormwater system. Yeah. Well, Kawabunga! Mm. Uh, oh, that's a. Uh, oh, tastes like mouthwash. I love it. I'm AC. And I'm Rob. 
And I'm Ben. <laughs> and you are watching the Bit Seizure Turtle Special Bonus. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks, guys. Thanks.